Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a part two of riding with my daughter and we're gonna review the 2020 Triumph Street Triple RSs that we both have. It's a year and a half review ownership. So hopefully you guys stay tuned and I'm making my way to get to my daughter and then we'll continue with the video. Enjoy the nice uh, view. Annoying roundabouts are about to come up. Ugh, I hate roundabouts. It's so annoying in the United States. Yeah, today was July 4th, and it's so foggy and cold. It was 64 degrees in the morning, and I'm like, I have my heated grips on, and look, it looks like it's raining because of all the fog condensation all over the GoPro and my and visor. Here's my daughter finally, an hour later I finally reach her. <laughs> How long have you been here? Like two minutes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I had to friggin' turn on my heated grips, I was freezing. Do you have heated grips? Yeah. So do I. I well, thought that you didn't have them. Of course. I gotta go potty. I gotta go, I'm gonna go into Walmart real fast. Yeah, I, I have to clean my visor. I can barely see. I feel like my pants are wet now. <laughs> I told you we were going to Wawa. I'm only going in these potty. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, not really. You hear that motorcycle in the background? That's a guy going up and down Route 100. I don't know what he's doing. She got gas, so now we're ready to get going. We stopped by Cycle Gear in Allentown and it was closed. They're always closed when you need to stop in there. My daughter was going to see about getting some dirt biking gear. She's ripped hers because she keeps falling. <laughs> About to jump on Death Trap Highway, Interstate 78 here in Pennsylvania. People who go on this highway like if it was a NASCAR race or a MotoGP race. Hopefully we make it through. dirt bike track slide in my rear tire. be here for a minute or two it says that the next stretch of road is like 20 miles of not there's nowhere to stop don't go too far though <laughs> yeah i pulled over the one time and a cop came by he's like everything okay i'm like yeah i'm just taking a break
Sheets and Wawa in the same video. They're both making the highlight reel. got with my daughter again to make a riding with my daughter video part two it's been about a year or so since the last time we did one when we first got our street so we've been riding for a few hours and i've done a few upgrades and her bike's still pretty stock <laughs> she's uh doesn't want to spend money <laughs> uh -huh. all right so we'll go over some of the upgrades i've done and we'll see them uh side by side next to each other me to do well there's my daughter so we'll go over some of the things we've done and how she likes it after a year and a half of owning it so she still has the pirelli super courses which we'll have we'll go over to see if they're almost done and it kind of feels like they are, the tire is almost done <laughs> yeah yeah i don't think the head of lincoln's gonna be hiding but your rear tire is really good just like mine's yeah i wonder why i wore like that that's what I was I was thinking because when I first got the street, I was I was used to always my rear tire wearing out, and then my rear tire wore out less in the front. My front was shot by the time I got the Michelin Power RSs or the Michelin Power Fives. Uh, sorry. So I mean, as you can see, um, I added the Akrapovich exhaust, and she still has the stock one, which I still like the. Ex the stock look of the exhaust. I just wish it was louder. And you're starting to get the purple color. It's like turning purple finally. And how many miles do you have on it? Uh, about 1,800 miles. I have about 2,400. I've been riding it a little bit more than she has. I use it for work and everything. But you've got the ram mount. The... It's got the one with the, it goes on the stem. I have the rock form one. Uh, I upgraded the brake reservoir if you saw it in one of my videos. Still got the Brembo stock one. We both have tech spec uh, tank pads. So I'm actually going to switch mine to Stomp Grip. I like Stomp Grips better because of the little like volcano type thing. I heard some people complain about um, that they rip your jeans. I've, I've heard that too. They do get stuck on your jeans, but I don't know. I just... I'm, I was thinking it's just putting them together, one on each side to see how it works. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, and your tires are still good, but it looks like your front one's shot. <laughs> um, I've got the engine case savers. Um, she still hasn't gotten them. I'm not sure if she will. Got the frame slider, tail tidy, which you have it. We just have to install it. Is it on the sand? That's an add-on. That's an add-on. <laughs> it is an add-on. It doesn't come with the bike. Fly screens that we both have. And both of the colors. She's got gray and I got black, so we didn't both have the same color. The gray's better. I almost picked the gray. <laughs> no, it's not the black is. <laughs> yeah, so after a year and a half, I, I like my, my street. I mean, I, I'm glad that I added an exhaust. That was something I was missing. Um, it definitely makes a big difference for me. It's still, it sounds like a little mini Moto GP bike to me. And you definitely want an exhaust too. And you're thinking of Yoshi, right? Yeah, I'm thinking of buying the Yoshi exhaust. Um, but I, I don't have as many accessories on my bike because I have a YZ250. So um, there's a lot of money to, that goes into that too. 
motorcycling in general is a lot of money. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted the Yoshi myself. And like I said, I tried to get it from my local dealer and they couldn't get it. So I just wanted to do it with the Akrapovich and I got a good deal on it. I, like I said before, I never pay full price for anything. I always get deals for it. <laughs> Bougie. <laughs> Hey, you got to wheel and deal your way. You can't, I mean, it's kind of weird to pay full price when I used to work at a dealership and a, uh, cycle gears, you know, some of my videos, I know what they pay for stuff. So, hey, yeah. you got to try to get as many good deals as you can. I like, yeah. got, like, got the worst hair. She got, like, five people hair. I do. I feel like a caveman sometimes. Well, you want turn signals, right? The Yoshis? I don't know what turn signals I want. I haven't looked because yeah, they're too that's, expensive. That's the only thing. I don't know. I really don't understand why Triumph of, of America couldn't include LED turn signals with the bikes. Like, even my Tiger has them. Like, I, I definitely want to get them, but it's like 200 bucks just to get a whole set from Yoshi. And then you have to pay to get them all set up. Yeah, and set up right. So, it's like, I don't know. That's the only other thing. I mean, they, they are visible because I've, I've ridden at night so people can see them. But, I mean... That's the only complaint besides no exhaust sound that I had. And the seat. Like, the seat, definitely. They sell a comfort seat, but it's like 250 bucks, And I was told that not even waste my money. Premium. Yeah, and she, she's bougie. Look, she's got the, the little caps, which I got her for her birthday, I think it was. I think Christmas. Yeah, Christmas. I don't know. Yeah, all Brembo. I mean, how can you go wrong with Brembo? Owens. Owens. Uh fancy triumph exhaust i like the way that it sounded and the, the looks of it i just i wanted some sound out of it yeah see I, I don't like that big space under there i still got to come up with a bracket see if i can get someone to make it yeah there's plenty of different exhausts you can go with i mean i just went with a crop of it like i said good deals that are hard to pass up so you still love your bike after a year and a half yeah i wouldn't get rid of it I think it's perfect. I came up from an R3, so it, it's definitely a big change, whether um, it's the tire size, it's the power, it's the different modes. Um, so I definitely like it. I'm glad I got it. What about the Trident? You think that would have been a better bike? I heard, I always hear that people <laughs> say that that one's just too low, low powered. Um, I think that there, there's certain points when I do ride my street triple that I, I feel like not that it's too much power, but that I have some growing space to do. And I think if I would have gotten the Trident, it it might have been this the seat height. I don't know how it compares to the Street Triple, but it looks a little bit smaller in general, um, not as long. And I, I think I wouldn't have been happy with it. I think there wouldn't have been enough to grow into. Yeah, I sat on it and it was, I was too big for it. <laughs> it's, it to me it feels like a starter bike, but it's still a nice looking bike. Yeah. But I like that. I mean, I'm, I'm going to keep the street. I was going to try to get it, get the speed triple like I did that video about. But I'm just going to keep my street for a couple of years. And if something new comes out of Triumph or we'll see other bikes. Like, I do like the R7 from Yamaha, but I can't really ride a sport bike anymore. You said an R7? Yeah. They, they took the R6 out and that's the R7. Yeah. Breaking news in this video. Yeah, for her. For me. <laughs> Everybody else has been doing reviews of the R7. I can't believe it. <laughs> yeah, the R, R, they said the 600 class is a dying class. They so said that about the 300 class too. Well, MotoGP now, there is, Moto2 is 765, the engines that we have in this really? bike. Yeah. But it's, well, didn't they, I heard that for Moto2, they engineered, um, they took one of these engines and they engineered it for the racing. Yeah, yeah. I, I forget saw, what team that is. I've seen some people on social media saying that we have the Moto 2 engine. I'm like, no, we don't. It lo it's no, laid don't. out the same way, but it's not the same <laughs> yeah. power delivery. It's, I mean, I don't I even wish. know about the Daytona 675 or they what is it? The 765. The 765 yeah. that they did. Um, it's the same engine as this. It's just tuned to. For yeah, but they more have power. a limited edition model that's for. Yeah, oh, 17 wow. grand, no thanks. Yeah. For this <laughs> I'd rather bike. get my BMW GS 1250. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, we still love our bikes. Oh yeah, I forgot the one upgrade, the tail light. I have the I have the clear LED. That was my bet. So here's oh. my opinion on the tail light. Since I have two bikes and I don't have that many accessories, I don't think I would invest in it, <laughs> especially since it looks the same once it's on. 
it's cool to look at, but it's kind of a waste of money when it's the exact same light with LEDs, but the LEDs are red instead of clear. Definitely. So, I mean, I'd stay away from it unless you just want to look different from other um, street riders. Or you have too much money. Yeah, I guess. Well, I am wearing a climb shirt, so. <laughs> Target V-neck, like $8. Get by just fine. That's not going to protect you in a crash. This shirt will. Well, I have it, my climb jacket. It can hold the slide for at least one second. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, if you guys like this video, please give me a like, subscribe, share. And you know where to find me every Thursday. Peace. Peace. She decides, okay, I'm staying with my good husband. And then at the very last minute of the show. this jacket. How it's it too airs, heavy. It, how it has this hook, but it always pops out whenever the fuck it feels like, unless oh, I'm trying yeah. to get well, it out. Well, you have to pull it in hard. I had that same thing with my Badlands, and I, that happened to me once. I didn't pull it in hard enough. Yeah, but even though, like, sometimes I'll, I'll put it in there, it gets me mad because it pops out when I'm once, and then when I put it in there, or when I try to get it out, it doesn't want to go. Yeah. Like, what the hell are you doing? I tried wearing my Badlands in one day when it was not even that high. It was like, I think the high was 75, and I was sweating like a ton. That's yeah. why I don't even bother to use it right now. Yeah, this is why I was like, I don't know if I should wear this, but I don't know. I need to get a, a different jacket.